Okay, so if you guys had a chance to play the new season, you've probably noticed some significant changes. A bunch of wild stuff got unvaulted like the minigun, remote explosives, and the most controversial weapon ever, the drum gun. Not the old drum gun though, an even more powerful version, and that's just a fraction of what is new. Now, we think that all this stuff is fine for casual matches, we played a few games, and all the new features felt just fine. But it seems that Epic went ahead and added all these new features to Arena, which means they're part of competitive play, yes, even the drum gun. Compared to how well-crafted the last competitive season was, the new update has a lot of people asking, did Epic ruin competitive Fortnite? Sorry we're not going to be doing a face cam for this one, we actually had to do this one really fast, since it's such big news. But as always, we have our question of the day, what are your thoughts on all the new loot pool changes? If you don't know them yet, we have a video detailing all the changes on our channel, so check that one out. And of course, if you want to climb quickly in Arena this season, make sure to check out ProGuides.com and go find your pro coach right now. Okay guys, let's talk about the change that has players shocked. The damage trap just got vaulted, that's right, not only from competitive play, but from all core modes. So it's gone entirely for the first time in Fortnite history. Now, traps were no doubt a potent weapon. If you knew how to use them, they could turn fights faster than your opponent could say, I'm dead. So much so that many players wanted them either nerfed or straight up gone. Those that opposed traps never considered them balanced in the first place, the damage was too high, and in some situations involved very little mechanical skill. Plus, you had to find them to begin with, giving traps an element of RNG that didn't really exist with other aspects of the item pool. So this vaulting has all the trap haters rejoicing, including myself. I hated walking to a building and getting trapped. But I can understand why they are good for the game. Because not everybody hated traps. The ones that loved them are lamenting the fact that they're gone for a couple of reasons. First, traps acted as a sort of equalizer, as a way to come back from an otherwise impossible to win fight. You have a launch pad. I don't know if you can do it. They're all in there. About to get your finishes? Yeah. Yep. You're gonna get the other one, you're stuck to stay alive. Let's Holy go, God. dude, I'm so good. Remember when Booga 1v3'd in a tournament lobby and won the match? That brilliant play wouldn't have been possible without traps. Traps also kept players in check. Part of the reason the careful box fighting meta even started was that traps prevented you from diving into every box you saw. Because if you did, you'd risk dying right then and there to a quick trap or two. So the argument that traps should have stayed is actually more based around the fact that the game is going to turn into a box diving meta where carefulness and tactics play less of a role. So my personal opinion, I think that removing traps was actually a bad idea. Even though I didn't like them, I don't think it's good for the competitive stability of Fortnite. What are you guys' thoughts on this? I want to know down below. If they're going to be getting rid of traps, then they probably need to include some sort of balance mechanic in the game just to keep players in check. That's so important for competitive balancing. Riot does it all the time with League of Legends, and it's very important to do it in Fortnite. But at the same time, maybe we'll be fine without traps. Who knows? Only time will tell, but this is what our thoughts are right now. Okay, so aside from traps, there are a few more changes that have people riled up. And those are the unvaulting of the drum gun, the heavy sniper, the boom bow, the grappler, the minigun, and remote explosives. That's an utterly insane list. If you followed the competitive scene in the past, you'll know that these were some of the most complained about items ever. There's a reason why they were vaulted in the first place, and they just got added back to competitive modes. Just take a look at Bugga's reaction to seeing C4 added to the arena mode. How, like, everything, man. C4 is back. Booga pretty much is at a loss for words. He knows just how impactful remote explosives were in the past. It's as if he's having flashbacks or PTSD or something. Later on in the clip, he fights somebody equipped with a mythic drum gun, which feels as if it's a meme. 
Epic took one of the most controversial weapons and buffed its strength. So what gives? But at the same time, a lot of the mythic items were tweaked in one way or another. For starters, there's only one of them per match, and they have set spawn locations. I guess you could use that info to avoid certain weapons you don't like, like if you hate facing the drum gun, stay away from the agency. You might still run into them later, but at least you can stay clear of them early on. Other mythic items like the Boom Bow and Grappler got fundamental changes. I guess the old Grappler wasn't close to mythic quality, so Epic buffed it to have unlimited charges. Check out 72 hours messing around with this thing, it's just absurd. At least there's only one per match, but man, the person that gets that is honestly, they're set for those endgame rotations for sure. Okay, so other than the item pool though, we're seeing a couple more common complaints. First off, the AI opponents. To many, Fortnite Battle Royale is a player versus player game. They don't like the idea of dealing with AI opponents with unknown health pools and would just be happier if real life players were all they had to focus on. I mean, imagine this happening to you in your first game on. But not only that, this music plays when you enter these new zones, and there doesn't appear to be a way to mute it. It seems to stop playing after a while, but during the first few moments of a match where you need to hear footsteps and enemy locations, this music is a hard turnoff for a lot of competitive players. It puts them at a serious disadvantage. Personally, everyone we've spoken to is fine with AI opponents, since they're at least restricted to certain parts of the map, and once you know how they work, they're easy to deal with. But when it comes to the blaring soundtracks interrupting our gameplay, please, Epic, I wish I could just put my face on the screen right now and just talk to you. I know you're opposed to sliders, but if you could add one for music volume, everyone would appreciate it, including myself. So, did Epic ruin competitive Fortnite? Well, look, I'll be the first to admit that it's too early to judge. We don't know precisely how these unvaulted items are going to fit in the Chapter 2 meta. Perhaps Epic made one of their classic blunders where they accidentally added some new stuff into the game when they didn't mean to. Honestly, wouldn't be the first time. We'll just have to wait to see what happens. I predict that people will definitely continue to feel that there's a problem with the new loot pool. But as for now, I think the most important thing is that we try and enjoy the new season, which we've all been waiting for. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe for more season two content. Let us know your thoughts on the competitive season thus far. Are these changes going to be necessary to restabilize competitive? Let me know down below. I read all the comments. Once again, guys, it's been Kristoff. Thank you so much for watching and good luck in your next few games.